Hi friends, Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. Today I'll be sharing a Stamp Club project with you featuring the blends, markers, and the Springtime Foils Designer Series paper. We'll also be using the Birthday Wishes and Remarkable You stamp sets. And make sure to watch to the end to learn how you can get a free gift from me. The Birthday Wishes for You stamp set is in the Occasions catalog and we'll be carrying over to the annual catalog that is coming out June 1st. The Remarkable You stamp set is actually going to be retiring and so only available till, till May 31st. We'll also be using the Springtime Foils designer paper. Now that paper was a celebration item and has retired but there are some other ways that you can uh, create the same effect and I'll be showing you those as well today. So club members get materials to make two each of three designs and in the case of today's project uh, they were able to uh, pick either this yellow version or the gray version um, or one of each. So this is a really simple layout but I've made a variety of different uh, versions uh, using all the different colors of blends and the different patterns of the springtime foils paper. Project kits also included the sentiment piece that you see here, the large one, and also the small one with the You Are Remarkable sentiment on it. For the smaller sentiment piece, it's simply stamped with the Memento Black ink pad on that smaller smoky slate piece of cardstock. But for this larger one, it's, uh, it's also stamped with the Memento ink, um, but I'm coloring in with the blends alcohol markers. And it is uh, important and necessary that you use the Memento ink, uh, as it is the recommended ink pad for the uh, blends. So I've done a bit of the dark old olive blends marker, and I'm finishing up with that now. So if you're not familiar with the blends markers, they have two tips one end that's small, indicated by the thin line, and the other end that's fatter and more like a paintbrush, indicated by the fatter line on the other side. I'm using the thinner tip for the coloring here. So now I'm coming in with the light old olive blends marker, and I'm really just stacking the colors. I'm not doing any blending at this point, just putting down a layer of each of the colors in bands uh, throughout the sentiment. So I'm going to next come in with Daffodil Delight. I'm going to start with the light Daffodil Delight, then the dark, and then I'm going to do light pumpkin pie, and then the dark pumpkin pie until the whole image is filled up, including the little happy at the top. So I'm finishing up with my dark pumpkin pie at the top of each of the letters, and I'm going to begin working on filling in the, the happy I forgot to do it as I was going along, so I started with the dark old olive at the bottom. Now I'm doing the dark pumpkin pie at the top. And as I fill in these other colors, I'm going back and starting with my blending. So I'm taking the lighter of the two colors and just touching up where the dark and the light meet. And as I add more pumpkin pie, it darkens the light pumpkin pie that's there a little bit and blends the line between the light and the dark and I'm going to go back and do that with each of the light colors. So I don't generally go back with the dark too much. Um, the light really is how you go back and do the blending. So it looks sort of continuous and you don't have any hard lines. So now I'm doing that with the light Daffodil Delight color. And then I'll come in with the Old Olive and do the same thing. So now I've got my light Old Olive doing a touch up on the happy and then you can see me coloring just where the dark and the light old olive meet. So for the final blending step I'm pulling in my color lifter which is the marker that has the white lid and just touching up where the lines might be a little more less blended and it also pulls up the color so it sort of creates some texture as well. It really makes a huge difference to use the color lifter and I am also using the um, finer tip and I'm cleaning up the edges where I might have gone out of the lines because the color lifter magically removes any lines that are outside. 
So next I'm going to show you the blending process using the Springtime Foils designer paper and this floral pattern. So here I've just laid down a layer of the light old olive blends color and now I'm coming in with the dark old olive to accent the lines and to start with my shading and now I'm coming in with um, the color lifter to give it some texture. So for the flower I'm using the dark and light Blackberry Bliss and Night of Navy and I'm starting by laying down a layer of the light Blackberry Bliss all over the flower and now I'm coming in with the dark Blackberry Bliss and next I'm going to move on to the light Night of Navy and then do some accents in the very center with the dark Night of Navy and as you can see as I blend them the two colors sort of turn into a purplish color which I personally adore and now I'm coming in with the light Blackberry Bliss to really do my blending and mixing and um, trying to create a more natural look of the flower. Coming with some little accents of the light and the dark navy, just kind of playing with it to get it to look like how I want. And you can see I'm going back and forth between the different colors multiple times to get the look that I want. And now I'm using the color lifter to help get some texture to the image and cleaning up the edges just like I did with my happy birthday. So as I mentioned earlier I've done multiple variations. This one I stayed with the neutrals with crumb cake and smoky slate and the same here. So here is a strip done with the striped pattern with the blending. Whichever pattern of the springtime foils paper you use you'll want to wipe off the surface to remove the ink from the embossed portions, in this case the silver stripes. And you can use alcohol if you want like I did here, but uh, it didn't work very well on this one with the white background. As you can see it pulled some of the color from the flower onto the white and uh, didn't turn out as I wanted. And here's an example done with uh, three different colors, the Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Cherry Cobbler blend, Blends Markers. So if you don't have the blends, uh, this is another fun alternative for how to use this paper. So what I have here is side by side a piece of the Springtime Foils Designer paper and a piece of plain regular white glossy cardstock. And uh, the Springtime Foils is a somewhat glossy uh, surface, so it behaves similarly to the regular glossy cardstock. So I'm just taking the same colors that I used on my happy birthday that I colored in at the very beginning and sponging on there and now I'm going to actually spray them with alcohol. Now you don't actually have to do this step, you can leave it just as it is but when you spray it with the alcohol, alcohol it um, kind of gives it a nice texture to the surface and then it allows you to go back in and blend some more and um, blur the lines uh, for a really pretty look. So that's what I'm doing here. So now I'm moving on to the final assembly of the card and I have a piece of the Springtime Foils Designer paper sponged in the same colors I just showed uh, in the striped pattern of the uh, paper and I'm just uh, attaching it. I like to attach this particular piece now to the smoky slate uh, first before I attach it to the card base and that way if um, the pieces aren't exactly perfect um, then I can trim off a little bit of excess. It gives you the choice to um, trim it off if you need to. And then I'm taking my Fast Fuse adhesive, putting it on the back of my Smoky Slate cardstock, and I'm going to put it on my card base, um, which is the basic gray cardstock. I love the versatility of this uh, gray card base and pieces just because you can really use any color you want. As you can see here on the back of the sentiment piece, the colors from the blends bleed through uh, the cardstock and that is completely normal and pretty much happens all the time. Uh, I also, of course, stamped on the back side first and didn't like my stamping so that the happy birthday was there on the back as well. So now I'm just finishing up with putting some dimensionals on the back side of the sentiment piece and the final assembly of the card and I'll also add some rhinestones to the lower right hand corner of the card as well just to give it a little bit of uh, bling. 
So I've had so much fun with this Springtime Foils Designer Series paper, and while it's no longer available as a celebration item, I do have a limited quantity that I'd like to give away. So if you're interested, please uh, let me know. All you need to do is purchase a minimum of $20 in product from my online store using the current hostess code, and I will send you a little sampler pack of 12 pieces measuring four inches by six inches. This will give you enough to make 36 of the card design that I've shared with you today if you do it as I've designed it. The next set of photos I'm sharing are made with the same layout and the polished stone technique with the Springtime Foils Designer Series paper. I've had so much fun with this Designer Series paper and with all these different techniques and hope you'll give it a try. And if you do place an order to get my free gift, I'll also include one of my own polished stone creations as a thank you with your order. So thanks for spending some time with me today and happy crafting.